Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beard Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What is going on, guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the channel for yet another video. It is Saturday, so of course we do have another review for you. Really excited about this one. This, to me, is an OG company that I've been wanting to try for a long time. Super happy that they reached out and we were able to do this review. Today, we're talking about Crusher's Creations. So just a, just a real little bit about the company. The owner is a husband-wife duo, which I love, Brian and Crystal. They are out of North Carolina. They've been around since 2018. All right. Yeah. Excited to dive into these uh, these items that Brian sent us. Uh, we have two different scents to talk about, and we're going to be going over their uh, newly blended oil as well as their utility butter. But hang tight after this intro and we'll dive right into this. Welcome back from the intro, guys. Let's go ahead and dive right into these products. So we have an oil, we have a butter, two different scents, and then we also have a beard and body soap, uh, bar soap that we want to go over with you. So let's go ahead and first start with the prices. So for a one ounce oil, you're looking at $18. For a two ounce butter, you're looking at $20. And then I didn't look at the pricing, but there are combos available. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. We'll most likely we'll save some money on that. Um, as far as pricing goes, I would say it's right there, maybe a dollar or two above market average, but like anything else on market average keeps going up and up and up. So I have no issue with the price. What about you, Joe? Uh, no, I thought the prices were very fair, um, especially with the quality products that you know, uh, that you're getting with these that we'll definitely dive into. Um, I'm trying to look because I forgot to pull the price for the soaps. Um, but I oh here we go. Washes, maybe. So I'm, I'm cruising the site right now. I just want to make sure we get the prices. For yeah, everybody. Yeah, you go ahead and do that while while you're while you're checking. Let's go ahead and just look at the uh, presentation a little bit. So like we said, these are one ounce bottles. They have the dropper top. These are, these are really popular. These are some of my favorite dropper tops right there. The, it comes out very easy. You can turn it upside down. You're pretty much not going to get anything. The lightest restrictor tops. Restrictor tops. What did I say? Dropper top? Dropper, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Restrictor tops. Thank you. Um, so when you turn it upside down, really nothing comes out. The lightest tap on the top, you get an equal amount every time, which is really nice. The presentation of the label itself, this is what this, the uh, logo looks like. And then the presentation is really outdoorsy type of presentation, type of label, which is really nice. Yeah, it's like, that, it's like, a, it's like a brown paper bag type feel to it, yep. um, which, which don't get me wrong. I know that doesn't sound like too flattering, but I, I like it. When you feel it and you actually have it in person, it looks really cool. Um, right. It's just the best like comparison that I can do for it. It looks and feels a lot better than how I described it, but I think that's the best yeah. way to, to compare it. Definitely. Yep. So Joe, let's go ahead and dive right in, man. Kick us off with our first scent profile and then we'll talk about it. Yep. I will. And just so I don't forget, I yeah. believe the soap bar I saw was six bucks. And as, uh, as I'm currently uh, looking, it says sold out. So hopefully uh, by the end of the review um, or the end of the time that you watch it, maybe he'll have some more in stock. So cool. only six bucks for the soap, uh, not too bad on that. Uh, so yeah, let's go right into the ingredients. Um, and the first one that we're gonna go ahead and talk about is a scent that is called Impression. And uh, looking at the uh, scent profile here, um, Impression is a cologne inspired type scent. Uh, and it had, consists of bay leaf, bergamot, pick, uh, pink grapefruit, uh, dried gin, and uh, cypress. Um, and then he has a few other hidden uh, things in there as well as he has in the description um, there. So a little, a uh, few surprises there. So right off the bat, and me and Kyle were talking about this before we started recording, uh, the first thing that really comes to mind with this scent is I really get that grapefruit. I think the grapefruit is the shining star to this uh, specific scent. Um, I think it makes, and no pun intended, but it makes like the biggest 
biggest impression in the scent. And, um, you know, I really, you know, I really like that because, you know, right off the bat, it brings uh, a really good freshness to it. But if you really know grapefruit, it also has like that tart and sourness to it as well, mm -hmm. which, which does hang around quite a bit. Um, I would say that I, I guess I would say if there was any recommendation, if maybe that can be just toned down a little bit and maybe have uh, some of the other profiles lifted uh, just a hair, I think just a, a little bit of ratio uh, control on that would make that the scent even that much better. But overall, I really like the uniqueness of it. The one thing that I will say about both of these scents was that these are two scents that I have not smelled before. Uh, I can't compare these to any other companies. And that's exactly what I want when I try something new. Uh, so that's, yeah, so that's my take on impression. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, so I'm pretty much aligned with Joe. I really like this scent. This was my favorite out of these two. It's a very unique scent. The tartness of the grapefruit, just like Joe said, it's still in that citrus family, which yeah. I really enjoy. The best way to describe this, it's a great summer scent. It's very light. It's very clean. It's very crisp. Um, but one thing that's nice about scents like this, typically they don't last very long. I was getting the scent for this like all day. I was actually, I brought this with me um, on vacation in Boston and um, I was wearing this outside with the wind hitting my beard all day. I was getting like a solid eight hours out of this, um, which I really liked. Again, just a very soft comfortable refreshing type of scent yeah. um and i, I think know, that bay leaf has a lot to do with that yeah um, yeah i think that that's another of the profile that really stood out and i'm right there with you about eight nine hours out of this mm -hmm. too. yeah agreed um we try a lot of stuff i love a different type of scent and uh this really checked the box i i really enjoyed it yeah all right so the next one that we're going to talk about is called after hours um, so the way that uh, this is described, he has it described as a soft, fresh scent, um, and it consists of a mix of honey, oud, uh, tobacco, bourbon, and some uh, other surprises as well. Uh, so he likes to tease us with the majority of the profile, but he likes to add that little extra in there. I actually appreciate that. I think that's unique. I think it stands out. I know there are some people um, that you know probably want the whole, whole profile, uh, and I would say maybe that's because of allergies. Uh, so I would say, you know, um, even though he likes to keep that a secret, I would hope that if somebody maybe sends him a direct message or something like that, that he'd be able to share just to make sure that there isn't any allergy concerns or anything like that. Um, but I do like the little surprise factor um, regarding that. So um, right off the bat, um, yeah, the, the, I, lo I, I love this scent. This was my favorite out of the two. Um, this was a scent that that a profile that really just seemed up my alley. Um, I, I especially love the scent at, at night in the butter. Um, it was something that I really enjoyed wearing to bed. Um, that honey just gives you that nice warm calmness. Um, and I love the sweetness uh, that it absolutely brings. Um, but in the daytime though, where like the oud and tobacco uh, really, really, you know, comes into play and it adds that, you know, masculine, uh, masculineness to it. And um, I really appreciate it. I really like the fact that you kind of can wear it um, in a hybrid style of ways. You can, you get, you know, enough nighttime features if you want something to kind of calm you down, but you're going to have that musky manliness to it that's going mm -hmm. to uh, carry you out through the entire day. So very, very unique scent again. And again, nothing that I haven't smelled before or something that I have not been able to smell before. And again, much appreciated on that. Yeah. Tobacco, bourbon, honey mm -hmm. really sounds like it would go well together. The tobacco and bourbon really are not my profile, but I'll tell you what, he really, or I should say they really made this work. Um, after hours, when I was reading the profile, I'm like, eh, I don't think it's going to be for me. I really enjoyed it. I really did. I think in my opinion, the honey really brings everything together and it's a really nice take on a tobacco and bourbon type of scent because tobacco and bourbon, in my opinion, are kind of in a cag category of their own, kind of like you yeah. like it or you don't type of thing. But this is really nice. It's definitely more of a manly type of scent, but it's not overpowering. Yeah. Um, and I think it's pretty true to the profile, mm -hmm. which is cool. Um, yeah. Like Joe said, such a unique scent. Um, it's, it's I've never smelled anything first, like it. It's one of the first scents that has oud in it that I wouldn't describe it as an oud scent. Yeah, I feel like true. when you have oud in the profile, 
most of the time you're going to refer it as an oud scent. I right. still think this is a tobacco scent, honestly. Um, I, I get that more than anything. And I think that oud just adds that nice stank type put uh, punch to it. Um, but still has it weird, unique, and I say weird in a good way, but unique way that it can be kind of a nighttime scent too. Is it, and I like the, right. uh, I like the name after hours. So um, right. Fits. good on that. So let's go ahead and read the oil profile here. So this is the new blend that they're going to be using going forward. Yeah. Um, so we have Metafoam seed oil, which I, you guys know, Joe and I love. Mm -hmm. um, pumpkin seed oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, organic hemp seed oil, babassu oil, essential and fragrance oils. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way now. This oil felt absolutely amazing. There is nothing I would change about this oil. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. It is absolutely feeling beard. One of the best I've ever tried. Again, to me, in my opinion, my uh, view of the beard world, uh, Crushers is an OG. It was kind of an honor that they reached out, to be honest with you. I feel like they've been around such a long time and I see why it's still popular. You know, they're a company that I don't see everywhere by any means, but they're always around. Mm -hmm. And when you wear their product, you really see why that's the case. Do you agree, Joe? Yeah. You know, I, I've described this um, uh, a little uh, before with certain like OG type companies that aren't still like completely, you know, well known of having like, like a good cult following. So if you are within like the beer community on Instagram, you're definitely going to see them. You're definitely going to see, you know, the select people that, you know, are always posting about them and stuff like that. So I think they have a good like inner circle of people, but mm -hmm. I really think that they could even expand even more really at no fault of their own. I think they do a good job of, you know, advertising their products, getting their products well known. I just think yeah. people just need to, you know, take that chance if they haven't done so already. Right. Uh, but yeah, man, the, the profile or the ingredient list is absolutely phenomenal. When oh, I, yeah. when I see metal foam as the first ingredient listed, <laughs> um, I already had a good idea that this, that this profile was going to work really well for my beard. And it absolutely exceeded all expectations that I already had. Um, it felt so good. It was a good, uh, true, pretty much a true medium type, uh, mm -hmm. type feel to it. Um, and my, and it just soaked into my beard so good. It got to the skin. I felt nourished. Uh, the feel and beard lasted just as long, if not longer than the actual scent um, did, so, which means I did not have to reapply or even come close to thinking I needed to reapply, which yeah. is always appreciated, which is always something I, I'm, I'm really paying attention to that more in oils. Um, and right. that definitely uh, meets that expectation. Um, Amazing oil. Absolutely yeah. love it for sure. Yeah. And just another example, guys, like I said, I was just on vacation to Boston uh, last week. I am, we were walking outside for hours. I was on bus, bus tours. I was on boats, all that stuff. Be big, thick, bushy beard like mine begging to be dried out. I had zero issues. And that says a lot. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the utility butter. If you can see that on the top there. They have a utility there. butter that he sent us. Uh, Metafoam seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, uh, marula oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, coconut oil, beeswax, cocoon, I believe it's pronounced, cocoon butter, shea oh. butter, linolin. Also, uh, yeah, linolin. Um, so Lanolin. very, what? Lanolin. Lanolin, excuse yeah. me. Uh, so very similar oils, obviously, um, in the butter and then some addition there. Um, I love how he calls this a utility butter because it really is. This one you can use at night. This made my beard really nice and soft, pretty much as soft as any other butter I've ever used. But also at the same time, I use this during the day a lot. Again, I was on buses. I was on boats, all that stuff. I was wearing a mask for hours at a time. This butter held up pretty much against any other poor butter that I've used, um, which is huge words. These, these, these products to me were just top notch. Yeah. Were you getting the same thing out of the butter, Joe? Yeah. So for this style of butter, you either hear utility butter, poured butter or full body butter. Those are like the right. three main terms. When you use a utility butter, I feel like you, when you put that name on it, you have to use it the right way. And they definitely did. You, to me, utility means exactly how Kyle described it. That means you can wear it 
pretty much pretty much like a bomb during the day where you're getting maybe a little bit of hold to help you in those kind of situations that Kyle endured uh, while he was on his trip. But also you're going to get that nourishment as well, which is what a butter should be providing you. Um, I, I think Kyle's example is absolutely perfect. And although I didn't go through the terrains that he did, I still <laughs> felt like it was true to what it actually is on the label. And I loved it. I love that I could wear this during the day and get what I needed out of it, that nourishment, that hold uh, that maybe I needed. Uh, but, but most importantly, at night, it did what it needed to do. It holds up so good at night. My beard feels absolutely magnificent uh, the next morning. It's still soft. It's ready to go. Um, and I just... Uh, Again, I just, I absolutely love it. I'm totally fanboying over uh, Crusher's Creations. I yep. haven't been able to tell. Um, <laughs> and you just have to try it. And I think yep. you'll be right on the same boat, uh, same boat with us. Right. So the last product we want to talk about, I don't have it with me because it is gone. The um, bar soap. Yeah. So the scent that we got was... I have the box, but the I... The box, so, okay. So, yeah, so, I'll this, I'll come in this little box here. So Yep. So that is the bar soap. The, the scent that I got was Impressions. Let me say this really quick. The oil, the butter, the soap all smelled identical. They smelled identical strength-wise as well, which is always appreciated, especially considering there's a little bit of shea butter in, in the butter itself. So that was really cool. So the bar of soap. Six dollars, I think Joe said. It is on the smaller side, I guess, but considering what you're getting compared to other companies, I think that was a really good deal for a homemade soap. Um, I really liked it. I used it on my body. I used it on my beard. It's not overly stripping. So if you're someone who likes to strip your beard with a bar, probably not for you. But if you're someone like me who just likes to clean your beard, you do not want to strip it. I was using it. I think I used it six or seven times, something like that. I only use it with conditioner once or twice. I had no issues. Um, two thumbs up for me on the, on the soap bar or the bar soap. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's really not much else to add. Um, I think Kyle nailed it. I pretty much share the same experiences. Uh, good, pretty much daily use bar soap. Um, I would say maybe I wish I do wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, you know, usually prices, you know, for bar soaps range around that six to maybe $9 range. Um, so I would say maybe if it was a little bit bigger, that would, you may be getting a little bit more bang for your buck. Uh, but seriously, six bucks, not a big deal. Um, and that's even hard for me to say, because the last thing I really need uh, is more products than I'm just not going to use. But if you're, you know, if you don't have as much as Kyle and, and myself does, you, you know, you may, you may go through it pretty quick. Um, so, you know, maybe if it's a little bit bigger, very nitpicky critique, uh, but just speaking for maybe like the everyday beard man. So. Sounds good. All right, guys, that is our review for Crusher's Creations. Like I said, we both absolutely loved it. So happy that we were able to try this product. Like we said, this is one that we feel like has at least been there since we started our beer journey. Um, come or uh, um, our ask of you today, go ahead and leave a comment. I have a feeling more people than we think has tried Crusher's Creations, but yeah. maybe I'm wrong. Throw a comment on there. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Also, are there other scents that you think we should try? Because I definitely want to get some more scents um, in the beard as we really did enjoy it. We'll also throw the link to the website below. Guys, that's all the time that we have for you today. As always, keep it growing. And yeah, keep crushing it. We'll talk to you at the next one. <laughs>